So I like never went out on a mission to like start an archery company. It was really this like mixture between the archery learning center and the experiences I had there with George and the team and traveling and shooting and competing and my time at Georgia Tech. The Ultraview story starts with just one of those things where we were all together, we're just shooting a league, hanging out with the guys, and uh, someone starts talking about their scope being dark or whatever. So Colby being Colby, he digs around on Amazon, he finds a pen light that is ultraviolet, he 3D prints this tube that he tie wrapped to the top of his bow, sticks this pen light inside, and next thing you know, boom, he's got a fiber that glows, and he shoots the very next shoot with it, and it works. Starting out, like, way many years ago when we were in high school, even Colby and I knew each other, we were competitors shooting in competition archery, and when Colby came to me and was like, hey, I need some photos and some videos of this 3D printed little funky finger and scope thing, I was like, okay, I didn't even know what 3D printing was. Literally the first time I saw and understood what a 3D printer could do, it was in uh, George's shop at the time. And I had this great idea one day of take everything a light kit is and just put it into a scope house. One small thing leads to another and you end up with the Starlight, which is the scope variation of the Ultraview. It was like the birth of the final product that, you, that uh, people love today. And my friends at Tech and even people that like I wasn't acquainted with or knew at all were like, yo, you should seriously consider entering into this invention design like startup competition called Adventure Prize. Hey guys, so we're back here, ALC, prepping for Colby's Adventure Prize on Wednesday night. I go through that line, I say our second innovation go through that line, which leads to our third innovation, our patent pending wireless battery pack. Hi, I'm Colby and I'm Team Ultraview. In archery, there are many challenges. The main challenge being the scope housings that we use. They're big, heavy, have external battery packs and wires, and they're full of obstructions. If you could get rid of all of these problems with one product, why wouldn't you? Colby showed up with a product that was fully fledged, ready to go. He had sales happening because he released the product and everyone was buying it and the introduction of this product to the archery market had happened right about the time he ended up winning Adventure Prize. Georgia Tech Adventure Prize goes to Team Ultraview. Well done, congratulations. We actually ended up winning Adventure Prize with that uh, initial scope, which we called Starlight at the time, which was the, the truly the first archery scope ever to include or to incorporate everything a light kit is into a scope with no extra wires, no, no extra anything, and it was all just right there in one tiny package. A lot of people didn't love the idea that it was 3D printed. You know, uh, some people didn't trust the idea that maybe it was, you know, uh, wouldn't be as durable as they thought, but for the technology at hand, this was amazing. Well, there was a lot of problems with the electrical system in the Ultraview 1 and the fact that it was plastic. So the Ultraview 2, was machined out of uh, 6061 aluminum, and the uh, light kit still used magnets, but it was much more secure, and the LED, instead of being uh, permanently mounted in the scope, was put in the light kit. So that for world archery, you could remove the light kit and be 100% legal. The cool thing that was different about this, other than it being totally machined aluminum, but you could also pull the cartridges out and you could have a cartridge set up that you need for 3D. You could have a cartridge set up that you needed for 50 meters, a cartridge set up that you needed to bow hunt with. This past year, putting the UV2 to test, I really keyed in on how do I change that scope to best fit my needs of what I'm hunting. Out West are totally different than the, the Midwest whitetail woods. So I would actually change out the cartridge throughout the year to a 19, to a 10, uh, put light on, light off. We improved upon it more because it's not just a light kit that's integrated into a scope, it's a whole scope kit. 
I mean, you buy the scope kit, you don't have to go get dots anywhere else. You don't have to get a lens, you don't have to get fiber, you don't have to get mounting hardware. It comes with batteries in it, it's a light kit, it's a scope. It has everything all in one simple box that we ship directly to you. I've grown up in the archery industry, I've worked for bow companies and accessory manufacturers, and I've said probably a hundred times, what are they gonna come up with next? This is so good, how could they possibly do anything different that would make me wanna buy another one? Ever since day one, three years ago, creating the UltraView One, the Starlight, the original one, we've always had this idea that we wanted to get to this ultimate scope. It solved all of our needs, all in one package, all in one scope. And we've never been able to achieve that just because of you know, the, the business is growing, we don't have the resources, we don't have the, the know-how to do it. But finally, this year, we really have achieved the ultimate scope. The UltraView 3 is like a polished version of the UltraView 2. We got the UltraView 2 good working and it was awesome. And then we looked at how can we improve upon this? How can we make the scope smarter, has an auto off, up and down brightness. You can toggle between level light on or off. Uh, the functionality is improved pretty drastically from the UltraView 2. Uh, even down to the fact that we're like, how can we make the scope look like super cool. When we started designing the UltraView 3, we took it all the way back to the bottom, starting over with everything we had done and redesigning it from the ground up. If you look at the UltraView 3, you can really see that each and every little feature is actually necessary in the functionality of the product, but it also has fantastic design. So the culmination of everything that the UltraView team learned about how people use scopes, what they need in a scope, how they need to change it from game to game or from target to hunting or target to 3D or whatever has now like become this. Over the years, you know, I've, I've used many different light kits. It would be wires breaking in the middle of a tournament on your kit or not being waterproof and you have to pull out a little plastic baggie to cover the kit or batteries going dead. You know, so many different things with so many different light kits. And then, if I ever wanted to go to a different archery tournament and I needed it removed, you have to go through this whole process to remove it. You can't interchange it between a drilled lens or a dot um, or a pin. So there's just no versatility with most of the others on the market, whereas with yours, you can shoot whatever you want and use the light at the same time. So the UV2 is great, but there was definitely a lot of problems that we solved with the UV3. It's much more durable, it looks way better, and still you can have one scope change out the cartridges and use it on your hunting site, your target site, your 3D site. So we really wanted to make one hardcore scope that meets the needs of the serious bow hunter, serious target shooter, serious 3D shooter. So what makes the perfect scope? Um, well, first and foremost, we believe that the scope should include all the electronics of the light kit that people put on their scopes now. It's 100% waterproof. I mean, we soaked it in a tank of water and froze it in a freezer and took it out and it still worked. Um, it has auto off, you don't have to worry about it dying. The shelf life, if you just take a three month hiatus from shooting, you can come back and the batteries will still be working. We wanted it to be much easier than the UltraView 2 to install your fiber. So we have, we wanted a permanently installed Teflon tubing. So you can just sit there and push your fiber in and then put it into your lens or your pin and you don't have to worry about sitting there threading it through holes or anything. And then with the light kit, we needed more brightness, more adjustability, and we added a four minute timer. So if you accidentally leave your light on, it's not gonna die and you can still finish your ASA round or if you're shooting in the Vegas shoot off, you don't have to worry about anything. When designing the hunting cartridge system and the pin system, we kind of started from the ground up. We now make the pin out of one piece, a solid construction aerospace aluminum, and this pin ring sits right in the center of the scope. So it's gonna protect you from branches or anything you're walking through to and from the stand or on the 3D course. Um, if you hold the on switch for two seconds, 
it will turn on and off a, um, an LED directly illuminating your level. All of us as high level competition shooters have had trouble seeing our levels in certain environments. And so this solves that problem for a lot of people. The Ultra V3 is really everything that we wanted to do from day one. We just now have the capability and the network to make this product actually tangible. So the Ultra V3 has been in our brains and by our brains, I mean, I mean my brain, George's brain, uh, Bruce's brain, Chris's brain, everybody that's around us, we've all been daydreaming about this fantastic scope and we now just have the resources to make it available. And it's, it's really quite awesome.